A blessed afternoon to everyone in Grand Community. My name is Owelu Chenandubezi, executive member and executive member of All Grand Pressure Group. Um, I want to. It is pertinent that I should say something and release this um, voice to Nigerians for a better light and a better direction. Because of what is going on, the break I mean, the fallout of Adazen and Livingstone from our group and the, the way they are uh, blackmailing our grand page group. My attention was called about the V notes and the video Livingstone release. Let me start by saying this to Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama. Sir, um, uh, congratulations, sir, because you have gotten what you wanted. Some of the executive members of AJPGN have been uh, have fallen out from the group. And I say once again, congratulations. And I will explain to Nigerians what I mean by that congratulations. Um, let's start with Livingstone. What Livingstone said, because the beginning of his um, statement, he said that Nigerians should know that what is happening is greediness and what is delaying the grants we are anticipating working for and believing God to come is greediness from the side of AJPGN. Greediness and manipulation. Okay, it's only God who knows the truth that will reward us accordingly because his word said that whatever we do or say, even what we say, both in the secret and in the open, shall be brought to judgment. And the delayed lawyers um, always tell us that what you say or do shall be used against you or for your vindication and judgment. That is it. So that you come because of the acts of um, manipulation, propaganda and all that, you are lying against innocent people um wait for the reward is at hand already god bless you all nigerians as you listen please and i plead everyone to listen attentively not with sentiment because when we begin to take side and being sentiments we begin to pass judgment without knowledge and it's not good for us god bless you all living soon you said that my people or oh, that we are the one because if you if anybody is accusing pastor felix pastor john and abdu the person is also accusing all of us in executive platform of agpgm that we are the, the causing delay because of our selfishness and greediness please and as i have been saying it right in here and there i want to ask can you people prove it can you pr prove it Prove it categorically, let us know. What in what way have are we the one holding the document of this grant we are expecting? Or is the money released to any one of us? Then we we tell it from the Nigerians. In which way? And as I have noticed how all this why, you know, all of you was doing um heat and seek and hide all this why. And the information was coming, we will call you people, mainly you living so you know how to deny, like your father, you know how to deny. We will ask you, is this true? Is it true? You would deny and deny. What if we saying? Bring evidence, bring evidence. Now, the evidence is the moment you come out from the okay, let me not go there. Um, how this whole thing started, it's up. It's why the essence of me coming out begin to make voice notes is to defend the truth and defend my people, their innocency. Because you will know if Abdurzak, the president of AJPG and Pastor John and Pastor Felix and all the rest of them is doing what is wrong, it behoves me to stand and in my nature, I will stand against them both secretly and at least start secretly if they refuse. I will not come outside to expose. But for the fact that there is nothing wrong they are doing, everything is in the hand of the government. It's government that this will decide everything. Why are you accusing the innocent people? Are they the government that is deciding everything that will happen on this thing? Are they the one making decisions for the government? Rather, what I have to the best of my knowledge is whatever that is happening from the government, they will. 
or even they will tell me i will begin with my prayer team we will be praying and praying why would tell them please people continue engaging them telling them this telling them this telling them so that they will have pity upon the ceos they will have pity and pity us in this way and in this way so in which way is ajpgm and my people which hunting the disbursement from nigerians hmm. but the propaganda have you people chosen when this drum of war started from the uh from the uaag camp i want of it but nobody listened they didn't listen when they started this scheming and they going the way of tribe 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 i want let me start with this tribe i want nigerians to know because they are now saying that abdul and the Ustaz is is now dom have dominated ajpgn ajpgn have become kogi state ajpgn please that is lie from the manipulators and propagandas i am from abia state to be precise i'm not an executive member of ajpgn Sir White is from Anambra State. He's an executive member of AJPGN. Um, Engineer Mike is, is a Delta Igbo. Our approval, Masha, a Kemedia, is a Delta. So why is it, instead of us to focus on justice or judgment or truth and say it, rather we begin to point accusing figures because that's manipulators and propagandas have uh the propagandists have begin to deceive us i want to say something concerning the accusation on oster the wood oster the wood yes he might be extreme because every one of us was even offended both his brother sometimes we will ask him why are you stop 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 we are not expecting apostle ken to be perfect can you stop but osas being osas the way he is he was just expressing himself his dislikeness because why osa that would when we confronted him many a times he make us understand that he have lost hope where apostle ken is that he have even regretted being in the police station in the cell and all that doing everything he have done for this man in the first place why because that the lies we have been perceiving from him is too much what are those lies <laughs> it's uncountable some time ago uh, when he, we will come to him ask him that the how far this and that this he will begin to tell us i just finished speaking with malamina i just fi finished speaking with mommy brother now they have congratulated me they have told me to come in the midnight and come and sign these documents uh, about the disbursement i refuse the one that is not palatable for nigerians i refuse this and that but <laughs> now we have come to understand there was no committee he was the one telling us about committee committee this committee that i know when we hired them into a convoy go to to take him to to the asorok he was telling us he just received a call from asorok now telling him to prepare uh, to come in one hour time this and that all this whole thing <laughs> no all this whole thing okreji ole nege kokroko at the time um i have my former schoolmate that is in america he is speaking with the he is monitoring the whole thing in america he told he tells me that people from nigeria is coming there to 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 manipulate and change the mandate but that the donors have will be refusing them that they will not do that until they get a proof that a scan is late this and that and that his friend is telling him that is monitoring everything there that he must be the one to dispose this thing here <laughs> today okay now if you and i was even pondering within that period if your friend is talking is there with the donors then that means you have connection to the donors now it's easy you have connection to the donors <laughs> one time like that this same living soon called us and said that he just heard from Eluma mama now that 
that um Chiyue, this daughter of Apostle Ken, is now on her way to uh to the donors in America. This and that, this and that. I shot that one. I myself was even the one that said that this is a lie. You push it from this nonsense, this is a lie. And where is it? So that was the, we, we were in a meeting when this particular lie came. We were asking, that means now the man has connection with them. And even so, who always praise him? That man, that man is deep, oh. That man is deep. Don't dive him. If you dive him, you will scatter your bones. You will scatter, you will scatter. That man is deep. He's communicating with the donors. We tell him, ask him what is the, the, the evidence. He now told us that they, he had from Elumama. Elumama had from Apostle Ken. They are, she was on her way to America to see the donors. All things, lies. We fought for over one or going to two years trying to get the evidence of what Apostle Ken is claiming. Because he told us when the first person that brought this whole thing to us was Livingstone at the time of Newman. He began to call us. I remember the day he called me, I was narrating some of those cook and bull stories that somebody from he met in Supreme Foundation in Badagri told him that the grant Apostle K oh, Apostle Plus is parading about he is not his, he belongs to Apostle Ken. That Apostle Ken name is there, this and that. Then, what we did when we had our meetings, lay up, new man wasn't willing to back up because he was defending his own brother, his brother and tribal of a team that is killing them. What we now did is to send, we went, when we left Theophilus of Theobar Global Foundation, we went to consult Apostle Ken Wakama, asked him, this is what Livingstone told us, is it true? He now tell us that the late woman, blah, 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 called him this and that, but he never seen any documents, this and that. Then, um, but that old Adora told him, that there is a document in, in which his name is in it and he is the one the mandate have we know the evidence don't they how many that is how we now started fighting and we fought we fought with all our strength for going to two years seeking to get this evidence that will testify that we can, we can present anywhere that Apostle Ken Wakama is the mandate of any grant. As a matter of fact, we went to High and Mighty. So many of them, we went to them, we came back with shame. Because when we get, went to them, they will ask us, is there any evidence, even if in a photocopy, bring it to us, we will stand on this in our office and capacity in this nation and prefer that the writing be done. We, we are all fighting. There are some then. Abdul Pasofelis Ustaz has not been blackmailed as tribal people. We are all fighting. <laughs> we are all fighting because some people, it's good that when they use you and get what they want, they now call you Satan. They now call you demon. We are all fighting. And as of then, Adazan was calling us. He was, she was in Lagos State. She will call us and tell us, you people should leave this UAH, this Apostle Ken. Go back to go back to Theophilus, Eloche Boni. Uh, this man, Apostle Ken, is lying to you people. You people should not be one sided. You people should hear from Apostle Ken. You people should also go and hear from Theophilus. We told him, told her woman, we have left Theophilus because for how long shall we dwell in the mountain of Theophilus? For how many years? We are no longer interested again. We are looking for solutions. Now, this same other Zion, when she saw that Theophilus was losing momentum and strength, and the momentum was now on the side of Apostle Ken, caused by you, AJPGM, other Zion now left and come and join us. And the next thing is desperation. Daddy saying, before you know it, buying fish, dry fish, buying this and that. Daddy, daddy, mommy, mommy, the wife of Apostle Ken, and she went this and that. Familiarity, familiarizing with them because of what they will get. We later discovered that why Adam Zion was against us, wanted us to go back to Apostle Theophilus, was because of what 
apostrophilos promise her billions and trillions. <laughs> mm. Billions and trillions. And when we even ask her, even of recent, she said that she's an evil woman, she is for business, she cannot lose that. So it is about game of interest. And as such, a woman or a man of game of interest is not worthy to be a comrade. Because such person can be easily trapped by some manipulated manipulation of the manu uh, grand handlers, which have already happened. Moon are listening well. These are the people now who is blackmailing AJPGN. Adora and the, the woman that claimed to be the late wife of Brimey and the Abdu and the Chop Money and many of them, they went through the connection of uh, Abdu looking for the document, trying any document in CBN or anywhere that will prove to all these whole thing. Adora was the one who was sponsoring the whole thing with her money, up to two million at the two point something million. And when Adora was very angry with Aposke in that time, that they were all insinuating that Abdu, when they gave the document that Abdu should present himself, they would stand behind him and frontline everything. But Abdu told them vehemently that he, he has, as of then, that he has um, a leader, an organ. I use the word as of then because I don't know now whether Abdul can I'll proudly tell you that Aposken is his organ. But then he told him that he came here to get the document he's looking for his organ to give back to him so that AJPGN stand and assertion shall be vindicated. We want to get ourselves out of shame. What am I trying to say? We have got we have searched for these documents where the name of Aposken is in for a grant of UAAG, UAS, UAAG, this and that, for long, no way. That was when, before God now gave us light. The light that came, connection that came through Pastor John. And when this connection came, we all despise it. We despise it, but when we tried all other options, me and the Iron Lady, and some people was engaging the Chifako group, and some people was engaging the UAS people. And then when I went there, when my president sent me, say go and check if there is evidence that will prove all these whole thing. When we went, the UAS people, I asked them, I don't want to call their name because the two of them, when I called their name, I asked two of them, two of them, what is, um, is there any proof that Apostle Ken name? is in any particular document that prove that he is the mandate. That was what I asked of Honorable Lawrence and the Honorable Atu. Two of them, in different days and occasions, with the phone of a young lady, this, what they told me was that they are, they are diving into the matter now. They want to dive into the matter and they unravel all the whole truth and get back to us. My people, I want to ask, is that an answer? When I, when I, my, my president called me, he will call, oh, well, what do these people say? Is there anything tangible? I told him that it's not really that tangible because this is what they say, that they are yet, they want to dive into the matter and they unravel the whole thing and get back to Nigerians. Ha. The whole thing, tire my people. When we have tried every other option, no option was working, then we, would, we now went back to the connection of from pastor john and they thank god for pastor felix and pastor felix was still engaging pastor john and sustaining that contact and that is how pastor felix faith found him that he became involved in everything which and i want to tell nigerians the bitterness of adazion and the living stone where he, how he started when living stone and adazion have been angry that after the position of Mr. President, because the government people and how the whole connection came, they raised up a, a committee, I mean, a kind of um, four people from this side. We are not talking about government committee, or four people are more, which the government committee will give this thing and they now begin to do it. They raised up um, Pastor John, Apostle Ken Wakama, Ab Abdu, and uh, Pastor Felix. 
Now, Livingstone and Adazan was angry. Why Pastor Felix instead of Livingstone? And which, even me as an Igbo man, I explained to them, called them and explained to them that this thing, he just said that found Pastor Felix. So, Moon and Ivan. Because he is even though who was sustaining this con contact when we despise it. So, Moon and Ivan, let's just continue that way. For as long as they are not cheating us in anything, is there anything they are cheating us? No. These are people that are obsessed with position, popularity. If it's not living soon and at that Zion, I'm telling you people now, if anything, if a light come and it's not through living soon and at that Zion, that light, they will condemn it. It is a darkness. If anything good come, it's not living soon and at that Zion, they will condemn it. It is a bad thing. They became offended. We did everything to convince them that let's leave this whole thing. Are we in that position? Oh, stars, all of us, are we in that position? Why can't you allow this in? Let what we want is how to get this into Nigerians. They wasn't comfortable, they were fighting from all honor. That's why they now go and pitch with UAAG against us. So one that they must cause AGPGN to go down. That they must cause SABGN to go down. I could remember the day I called when I was engaging them. Engaging, I called Ad Adazai and I say, You are so close with Apostle Ken. Please, can we advise Apostle Ken? Let him, this whole thing, how is it that people brought you a seat and now you carry the seat and sit um, or want to sit alone, occupy the seat that the people are now the one begging you to shift for them, let them follow you and sit on this seat? Because by the way, at the end, all of you is going to give account. On this thing so why is it that you alone want to occupy yes you want to occupy cg country director this and that in the name my name is in the document good and fine if your name is in document all of us have fought for this and we will stand with you but now that we never see the document let alone uh, name can we allow the way things are going these contacts follow them according to the instruction because they have said all of you should work in a one accord but let me say this to Nigerians. The problem is this. Apostle Ken Wakama have been so obsessed with country director and authority over this whole thing that he was not comfortable with the involvement of AJPGN in the authority, to, in sharing of authority with him in this whole thing. And with his co-advisors, um, people that, I don't know whether or not God or the devil will say that, bring those people that surround him because I put it to him over and over. Anything that makes you to begin to see the hands that help you or that are helping you as enemies, your problem is from that thing that makes you to begin to see light as darkness. So, that was how everything, Livingston and Adazion, they were all Doing, we will be getting information. They are having meeting with the Tin Tang people. They are having meeting with UAAG people. They are the people that they have been seen as the angels. We are the enemies. We are the devil. What? How? In which way? In which way? Because they have sworn that they must bring us down because that they are not being carried along the way. It must be them. They must be involved. It must be them. It must be them. If light come, it's not coming from them. That light must go down. Now. That's how they begin to scheme about. Let me tell you people why I say that Apostle Ken Wakama have succeeded trying to scatter AJPGN. The, well, I mean, by removing but Now, the cowards are the people that have the, the travel cash. AJPGN is established by God Almighty. Nobody can bring them down. Unless anytime they leave, we leave, we leave the truth and begin to do what is wrong in the eyes of God. Apostle told us that Livingstone told him that that Livingstone told him him Apostle Ken to be careful of us that we that uh, Mr. President and uh, Pastor John and Pastor Felix anytime they, they are having meeting with Apostle Ken that the Apostle Ken should be careful because that these people are too desperate and they can even poison Apostle Ken that they know uh, they know us so well that he should be careful. Telling us, Apostle Ken was telling us many, many things. Livingstone and Adazion was telling him. Livingstone was telling him. Even the same Livingstone, when we call him and confront him, why will you say this kind of thing? That we can poison Apostle Ken? 
He said, you now told us, uh, if Apostle Ken told us such thing, do we know the ones Apostle Ken told him? He now begin to say his own. Moon are the CEO. Moon are the CEO. <laughs> Some people talk about monkey hand. Moon are the CEO. Monkey hand are supposed to be blown. I don't know the people where they blow the monkey hand, where they did. They never see all those things. That was how. And earlier on, I was one warning when I saw the move of Apostle Ken. Drawing Livingstone clothes, that of Adazan, Adazan forced herself upon upon them. Hey, daddy, daddy, mommy, mommy, buy fish, buy dry fish, this and that. Familiarizing themselves. I service because of what? They want to gain, gain more than others. We were watching all that. One time I was the one who asked that the way we have been approaching this UAAG management, why are on join us now? Doesn't that was even against what we are doing, standing with Apostle Ken? Now, what she just entered Abujana, she don't do this, Amagumago, she will carry moto, she will carry this and that, going to her. Daddy, 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 daddy. And uh, what Livingstone defended in the, that meeting? Oh, well, uh, Brother Zion can go to do personal businesses or whatsoever she wants to do in this project and secure whatsoever. That we being a uh, pressure group does not stop us from going to secure personal businesses and others. Everybody remove mouth because wisdom is always sweet in their mouths. So everybody remove mouth. As a matter of fact, in those days, Livingstone was the one running AJP and Empire, and it, which they keep. Two of them keep telling Nigerians everywhere that they, they are the owner of AJPGN. Livingston and Azion told Apostle Ken that they are the owner of AJPGN, and which they have told Nigerians now in his voice note and his video record, he said that he is the owner of the, the, the group he created. Group he created, Abby. King Siri, Livingston failed to learn from King Siri what happened to King Siri. King Siri said that AJPGN belongs to him, and God cast him out. New man claimed that he will stand with his Benua brother, Apostle Ken Wakama, against the atheists of AJPGN. God remove him. Now, Livingston and Razion choose to stand with their um, uh, tribal brother, Apostle Ken Wakama, and they look at the way it is going against our aids and against the way we are doing things. Familiarity. One day, Apostle uh, Ab one afternoon like that when we were on our way looking for um solutions on how to get connected to the government to get the documents to prove that apostle ken is supposed to have something to give to nigerians i received a call other people was in the vehicle i received a call it was from adaza and i left them adaza was telling me you see the way Ustaz is attacking apostle ken if apostle ken is a muslim if Apostle Ken is, is an Igbo, uh, we will start be attacking him like that. Please, let us stand for our brother. I told her that there is nothing like standing with, for our brother. Because Pastor Felix and the Abdul is standing for Apostle Ken, our brother, more than you and I. Do you have the condition they have? But they are using their connection. Even these old stars you are talking about, when we tell him to use um, his um, Muslim, uh, a man, Muslim connection, allergies and that, he will still obey us. The offense, the only thing with uh, old stars is that uh, old stars is like an Awasa man. An Awasa man I have lived in, in Medukri. An Awasa man can, will trust you from the first day he met you. He will take you the way he takes himself. He will trust you and give you access to his whole life. Only their wife they they don't give you access to but when an awesome man is doing something with you the day an awesome man perceive life from you chicken and forget it that is the end that is the end that is the way character has seen in his stars yes i admit sometimes he's extreme he's at extreme he is much extreme but that is just him and we all can testify that we, we are trying to portray him until they push him to the limit. When um, UAH management, Joyce and Lovely and all the rest of them begin to throw missiles, bomb against AJPGN, then who starts in his strong head, Karata, could not, stubborn Karata, could no longer listen to us. He will make voice notes he, without our consent. He will release it in the public media he will not even uh, public space he will not even bring it to the our executive platform because he couldn't stand he couldn't endure the whole thing the way we were enduring 
and we will see all this whole thing. We will ask ourselves, what is going on? What's wrong? Where, what is this thing that is happening? Where is this whole thing coming from? Abdul will call Apostle Ken Wakama and ask him, what is this? What is it? He will tell us that he's, he's not the one that sent them. Who is fooling who? <laughs> who is fooling who? Apostle Ken, let Apostle Ken come out before the God who gave him the breath of life and sworn that he do not know just and lovely. He's not the one telling just and lovely what just and lovely is doing. He's, he's not the one who told um uh, Barista Oga to make the voice he made. Even thank God when thank God for OCG that recorded that of Jennifer Zick, where Jennifer Zick said that he before he she made the voice she called called um Apostle Ken Wakama and get approval. You see. And all, all of them, what they are doing, let Apostle and come out and say that deny all that before the God who gave him life, who started this whole journey we started. Now, I don't want this thing to be lengthy. I want you people to understand concerning what transfer in executive platform of recent about Adazan and Livingstone. A particular day came. Because of the war, UAAG is heating up against us. You know, when you are facing battle outside, you run, you will, you will believe that your house is supposed to be the hiding place where you can find solace or peace. Amo, Mr. President of AJPG and came back, called us one day in order to vet to vet the house. And in his vetting the house, he first of all narrated everything that had transferred with UAAG, the whole journey, process, and everything. And telling us, telling us everything, and now ask us, where did he have he gone wrong? Where have him as executive president of AJPGN? Where have AJPGN offended UAAG in all this? Each and every one of us say that we know, we understand. We are not faulty. Then as a house that there is war, battle against us. We're supposed to know how formidable we are together in oneness of heart. He now begins to ask. Let me debunk this. It is not old as Livingstone and Adazayana and all those propagandists them is propagating oh, oh, is propagating it in the social media that it is an oath. Which oath? Which oath? The man now asks us, where do you stand? In all these things, you have seen that we are innocent in all this. Are you standing with us for defense, for us to defend ourselves? Or are you an enemy in our midst? And as I declare it, because everybody in the media have seen it. Livingstone and Adazan have said it. Adazan will write all the time. Uh, uh, is there any grant that come in a nation without a mandate, a name as a mandate? That means, are we the one lying? How, in which way, are we the one holding the documents? Are we the one holding the documents? In which way does all this whole thing concern us? You are just putting accusing fingers on the innocent people. For that, God will surely reward us, reward you accordingly. If you AAG, after everything AJP can did for you AAG and Nigerians, I mean the community, will have the God to be telling that to be saying that the AJPGN is their problem. Kai, many UAAG that is that is running the propaganda that we are the one who is stopping the disorder. In which way are we the one? Have we ever laid hand on this document before? Or is this money in our in our any of our hand that we are withholding it? But they keep accusing us. The same accusation that is coming from UAAG is the same accusation that is coming from Adazayon and the which came out from Livingstone today. So, Nigerians, may you not know, we cannot accommodate in an enemy because that is most dangerous. May you not get it. We have been hearing from so many people telling us how Livingstone and Adazayon is planning of a, a parallel government, a parallel government, and we will call Livingstone, he will deny, oh, he's good at that, like his father. He will deny everything. Caught him right hand he will deny they would not tell you, and hence you do not video it, hence you do not record it. Bring evidence, you see? That is them. And now, evidence. Talking about, let me show the light on the area of, of what's happened between, um, for the exit of Livingstone. Suspension of Livingstone. One afternoon, I was called 
that uh, do I know what is happening in the social media? Uh -uh. I came, I noticed that all the platforms owned by AJPGN, I will see some Livingstone is the one that removed me. I will see some Anderson is the one that removed me. I will see some one of their boy boy um, also have removed me. I said, ah, I was so angry. I went to the group. I really didn't know that it affected others. I went to the group. The moment I went, it's, I was just making a voice note um, for the house to answer me what is going on. What is my offense to these people? Livingstone and Adazion. Mr. President just bless a call. And in that call, I noticed that Livingstone is there already. I even wanted to object that why is Livingstone here? Mr. President say, oh, well, calm down. He now begin to ask question. Ask Ustaz Awood, what happened? Oh, ask Livingstone, why do you remove all of us? Livingstone first say that Ustaz Awood remove him. And that is why he now remove all of us. Um, Mr. President now ask Ustaz, what happened? Ustaz, let me quote, Ustaz say that um, he mistakenly removed Livingstone from admin in the group. Because Livingstone is talking about hacking. There is nothing like hacking. It's not only Livingstone or Abdul Darin that was the um, admin in our executive group. Other people, Ekemedia was an admin. Mr. Chris was an admin. So, for adventure, I don't know who made Ustaz an admin there. So, talking about hacking a platform, please, there is nothing like hacking a platform. Any admin has power to remove every other thing, whether you created it or not. If I am wrong, let the ITC people correct me, please. So, talking about the propaganda of hacking and hacking and hacking so that it will be well cooked and for people to begin to consume it, it's a lie. Now, but Ostaza Wood told us, I, I am putting him up because he's him, his Allah, that gives him life, that know whether he's telling us the truth or not. Ustaz Awood told us that he mistakenly removed Livingstone when he him was made an admin. He mistakenly removed Livingstone from being an admin in the house. Then we now ask him, why didn't you uh, when it is when you discover that you have removed him mistakenly, why didn't you put him back? He said, and I quote, that before he could realize before he could do it, he realized that Livingstone had begun to remove all of us from every other platform. This is what he said. Are we, it's only him and God that knows the truth in it. But the thing is this. We now say, okay, hence you say it's a mistake. And uh, Livingstone, then Ustaz remove you. Why is it that you remove all of us? Instead of removing Ustaz, um, and uh, avenging, uh, retaliating to stars alone, you remove all of us, including the executive president of the organization. He said that he calls our president, his two times his line was not going, and he now take his action, remove everybody. Mona judge whether that is right. We now ask him, I personally ask, Pastor, I, as an Igbo man, personally ask because. We are now saying that all this whole thing is Kogi and Tribal, which there is not. Me, I, as an Igbo man, Engineer Mike, as a Delta Igbo man, Ekemedia, as a Delta man, Sir White, as an Igbo man from Anambra State, we asked him, now that you couldn't get to Mr. President, did you come to the house and report what Ustaz have done to you? And we did not pay attention and do the right thing, take action. No, he did not say anything. Because why? He is almighty living stone, high and mighty, that um, who are we for him to consult us? He, What he did is to assault everybody and remove everybody from all the groups. And they, based on their statement that particular day before our judgment, um, uh, as he's claiming now, he's claiming that uh, Ustaz removed him from other uh, platform, WhatsApp platforms and this and that. But Ustaz told us which he could not object to, to it, to what Ustaz was saying. Ustaz said that he only removed Livingstone from being an admin in the house. But when he now removed Livingstone from the executive house, it's when he noticed that Livingstone was removing all of us from other groups. So he now removed Livingstone from the executive house. Then Rush was able to serve some other groups by removing them. Already they have removed 
us from many other days, and I don't know whether he saved my one, I've been at two, I don't know how many he saved. Then, another evidence of what Livingstone and the past Apostle Ken Wakam and all of them have been planning. The, what they are looking for is how to destroy AJPGN. And let me tell you people, grand community, if you people are not looking for the grants, rather how to destroy AJPGN, then that is a very big mistake. Because God is with AJPGN. Unless they begin to go wrong against the will of God. Me, myself, will even personally warn them because of the consequence. Living Stone went and met Apostle Ken Wakama and the PO of Apostle Ken Wakama, Pastor Alice, um, the admins in the um, Telegram platform with him. They now take over of our platforms. That shows what they have been cooking for a long time. That is, that is, on, that is, by the way. Now, I want to let Nigerians know this issue of tribe, tribe, tribe is not Abdu or AJPGM people that started this tribal thing. Talking about tribe, it's not Abdu and his brother that own AJPGN. There are many other people from other places. I am from Abia State. Sawat is from Anambra State. Injina Mike is from Niger Delta. Oh, Delta Igbo. Ekemedia is from Delta. So why are we accusing and saying all manner of all those things that doesn't make sense, that doesn't add up? <laughs> now, that where well, that is by the way. I know when they started this propaganda of Igbo people, Igbo people, Igbo people. I know when Adazayan called me, I turned Adazayan down that particular day and said that this Kogi people is even doing more, more than you and I, that is Igbos. Because we, they, are, they have connection more than more, you and I. So let us stop this. And the Abdu, I can say this before God, as of then, Abdu love us, love Apostle Ken, more genuinely than every one of every all those ones that are doing eye service. Because all these whole things are eye service. When DTT came up their own, all of them that have been rising is looking for a way they will finish AJPGM. The question is, if we leave this in, can you people do it better? Do your own, let us do our own. But why are you people rising, trying to step on us and trample us down? I know when Obi Wabo called me in this scene, uh, in the screening center. Oh well, why are you why are you doing your face like this? I am your brother, and this thing we are doing is our brother, the C D, the Igbo. I told him that, Oga, please. I am not here for all those um bullshit Igbo this and that. What we are doing is national divine projects, and each and every one of us should be national. And as a matter of fact, I have drew. Pastor Felix and all the rest of them are national. So let's stop talking about these are our brothers, these are our brothers. There is no place, there is no way I have seen them trying to redeco Apostle Ken Wakama. So let's stop this. Let's stop finding trouble where there is not. Let's stop beating drum of war where there is not. I went to Iron Lady at a particular day, me and OCG. When we when I got information that um they are making a move they of they, they say that they are seeing a document that proved that Apostle, a, a photocopy of a document from one man like that that proved that Apostle Ken is the, is the owner of this grant. He's demanded his name, is there, this and that. I told them, I went, me and the OCG went to advise. I called OCG as an Igbo man from, from just as an Igbo man, please. And told him, you are the spokesperson of UAH. Look at what I am seeing. Look at and look at where it will lead. Please, let's go and stop this woman and his um their movement. Let them stop this. We want the disbursement because NSL was expecting the disbursement that particular week. So that let us go and rest. But what they are after is I service and uh, these are my people. Uh, we went there, me and OCG that day. It was even OCG when she didn't allow us to talk. OCG say, "Oh, I leave her. Let us go. You, we, you have done your own. Let's see whether if the document they are looking for is true, is truly with such evidence. We will stand by them. Now, when we confront, when we went to see Iron Lady that day, um, uh, Iron Lady, Jason Tamba, aka Iron Lady. 
the woman told us that oh well oh well this is your people is not telling you the truth you always pro, uh, pro, uh, uh, you always you always defend these your people they are not telling you the truth i say okay prove me wrong you that is telling me the truth where is the evidence of your truth since they are telling me a lie these are the people i have stayed with them and we are staying in one place for one good year over one year we are eating we are doing everything i've been studying them and besides that i have charisma i have i am gifted psychologically and uh, please and please i have gifts when you are lying even you when you are lying i can tell you that you are lying if i want to tell you because i know i have ability to hear that you are lying to know that you are lying so these people and i even told them that if there is any manipulation anywhere it's not these people because what they are do, they are not in the position of the document people that are not in the position of the document how can they manipulate it what is wrong with you people what is wrong with you people can't common sense direct you people you say oh well i'm angry with you, your people how can i do pastor john and pastor felicity uh, uh, um, allow the devil to use them like this how can they go and remove the name of my uncle apostle ken from the document and now uh, and now claiming that this this grant this money is not uaag uas now they have removed our brother because he is an evil i told that woman that day please is there evidence you can show me if there is no evidence moon and stop this thing and let us encourage our brother of ken wakama to walk in unison with these people because what i was there when they were um, instructed and advised to work together four of them so anybody from any quarter telling apostle ken to discard ajbgn and not be comfortable with the authority that HBN is sharing with them is not good. I want, I want, how can somebody receive, so some people brought to you a bench, a seat, a bench, and for you to sit, and what you did is you collected the bench from them and occupied the bench, you alone. And this people is asking you, shift from the bench now we brought to you. May we follow you seat. Because by the way, this particular bench, that we have brought we have been given to bring we have bring to you all of us will give account of whatever that happened to the event we are seated on no that become problem because selfishness self-centeredness and greediness one person want to seat cd mugus are calling cd cd contrary to this and that very sorry if i sound sarcastic very sorry because it doesn't make sense to me you people are calling cd calling this in you never know do know you don't have access to any document. You can never defend it. So many times we run to high amenities in the government. We came back ashamed because why? They ask us simple questions that weaken us. Is there any evidence, even if it's a photocopy, we can your people can present to us so that we can stand to defend your people? And we pursue this whole thing looking for evidence to this for over one year. Abdul offended so many people. AJPJ entirely offended. We step on so many toes, even hmm, trying to prove that they are robbing our brother. I uh, will hear Pastor, Pastor Felix who will say, Oh, well, this whole thing is because they just hate a short man, not even talk. If if Apostle is not an evil person, they would have, we, we have, they would have they would have allowed this disorder to happen. Are you even here for, for Pastor Felix saying this in those days out of his ignorance? Ignorance is a disease. Because we were all believing what Apostle Ken told us that Adora told him he is the country director in a particular of a particular grant in a document this and that they found in the government this and that. Apostle Ken said it in the before Nigerians in the in the screening or in the thanksgiving and the living stone also brought this same thing news to us from badagri <laughs> that is how we got to hear this and we now went to we went to apostle ken wakama and the apostle ken wakama now he he will tell us he has somebody a friend of his a school a former schoolmate that is in america that is monitoring everything talking with the donors this and that <laughs> now lie he will tell us he just spoke with Malami now, this and that, our uh, Manami brother now. 
Oga, there is no proof to that. Manami just congratulated me and said that as long as we will never be against their own, you will never be against their own, their own interests, you will cover their own interests, there is no problem. Oga, na lie. When this new government entered, Tinubu government entered, Aposken told us when we went to have a meeting with him that ah, uh, that the chief of staff he's speaking with chief of staff the chief of staff just congratulated him right now um, and tell him that you have passed the the test this and that but the day our eye opened was the day he was arrested he was arrested we were expecting that just a call from the chief of staff ah, all this voting he will be released but oh yeah there is no connection to chief of staff as a matter of fact of recent is Jason Tamba, Iron Lady, and the Chief Akogudem, they, they were now looking for how to go and get to Chief of Staff. And I begin to ask, Shebi, this man used to tell us from time memorial that he's talking with Chief of Staff, this and that. Why are they looking for Chief of Staff now? You see? And this was the things that offended all stars. That these lies are too much. The other time, Livingstone came to us in a meeting. Ah, Apostan is deep in this, you know. This man is deep in this, you know. He know what he say, you know. I just heard now that uh, that uh, Elo Mama, Elo Mama just told me now that if this is a secret. So Elo Mama just told me now that uh, Apostan told him that the daughter of Apostan Chin is on his way going to America to do this um to see the donors this and that. You have contact with the donors. And you people are putting accusing fingers at AJPGN. Chief of staff have congratulated you, and you are here now putting accusing fingers at AJP. Who is AJPGN to stop uh, somebody whom chief of staff have congratulated? Lies upon lies. Propaganda upon propaganda. That's how you enter trying to scatter AJPGN. And I warned you people, as evil people, there is no sense in this thing you people are We have pursued this thing. For many years, Geoffrey uh, Law, Seloche Boni, was telling us about um, mandate, mandate. We dwell on the mandate of Geoffrey Law for many years. Nothing happened. We dwell on the mandate of Jehoshaphat for long. Nothing happened. Now we are dwelling on the mandate of Apostle Ken Wakama for going to two years. Nothing happened. Oga, let's throw away mandate and follow any process of the light god had given to us let's get something into the hand of nigerians that was what i call them in the secret and they, i was hated i was hated for this i was hated for this for any if you dare tell apostle ken that uh, there is we have never seen evidence or we have seen documents and your name is not in the documents you become an enemy of apostle ken i told him my brother please let us forget about this this um, mandate and mandate and mandate of 18. Work with the people God have blessed you with, trying to help you, help all of us to present something to Nigerians in order to clear our name from being evil people that deceive Nigerians. And they didn't. Answering Nigerians is not important. It is mandate of Apostle Ken that is more important than Nigerians receiving money. Nigerians, you people should wise up. Livingstone is claiming that he owns AJPGN. In short, I will, I will not say anything about owning AJPGN. One of our comrades, the people that was there, Victor Freeman, the people that was there, when our late comrade, um, Sir Chris, our publicity secretary, and Freeman and the, and the King Silly named AJPGN. They, they call it All Grand Pressure Group. It was after typical winner added of Nigeria. Livingston and Adat Zion that is claiming that they owe AJPGN. That's what they told the deceiver Apostle Ken that they owe AJPGN. They are, they are his brother. They owe AJPGN. They will dominate it. Look at them today. Whoa. Sorry. You people should stop listening to all those kind of propagandists and their liars. Livingstone is not telling you people the truth. You people should leave them. Livingston and Adat Zion, it is their greediness, their selfishness, and they, they are their uh, uh, um, obsession with authority, position, and the and the desperation that put them into trouble. And to you, Livingstone, it is unfortunate for a man to fall concerned that a woman controls you on what you do. The sense of your reasoning is being controlled by Adazayan. Very sorry for you. Thank you. In addition, now 
you know, the the voice notes became too lengthy while trying to explain um, detailly to Nigerians what had been transferring. Even though these are few things, by the way. Concerning the vetting, I mean, the Abdazan uh, and Livingstone now is, is and the UAA is now presenting it to Nigeria that it is an oath, out of oath. <laughs> um, Kogi, president of AJPGN, is trying to make all of us to enter into oath. Can you imagine? There is nothing like such, please. Our president just came as a good leader to vet the house because something things was happening which everybody is aware of. Um, Power of Five CEO, Bishop Abara, and they, all many of them, they came out as they have seen. According to them, they claim that AJPGN is the one stopping the grants getting to Nigerians. They accuse us and blackmail us. They now went to do their vote of confidence. They created a group. They make Adazayan to be vice president, make Livingstone to be um, the president of the organization, this and that. And then when we had about this, even adding up to what we have been hearing and be monitoring and be watching, we called, our president called a meeting to vet the house. And when everybody was asked of their involvement with all the things that is going on against us in the out there, um, uh, Ada Zion choose not to, I mean, he said that um, because it's obvious she, be, she have said it out there that that um, we are the cause of the delay because of our selfishness, this and that, as they are propagating here and there. Even Livingston said it today. So everybody can see the handwriting and the evidences of everything, you know. Good. Now, that was why Adazan was suspended because of her as a house. She chose not to stand with us. Rather, she has um, her assertion is that we are against, we are working against his brother uh, 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 and his daddy, her daddy, please, her daddy, her daddy, daddy, Aposke and Wakama. We are the one fighting, you know, stopping the blessings of Nigerians and uh, removing his um, dad, her daddy, <laughs> manipulating her daddy. These are all the assertion. So that was why. Ada Zion for not standing with us in this time around, but rather choose to stand with her daddy, who was unsuspended. Because it is more dangerous to have an inner enemy. We have been enduring this inner enemy for a long time. We couldn't get it any longer. Secondly, as for the Livingstone, Livingstone was um was instructed by our president and the whole house to make a voice note to debunk the appointments that have been given to him by a parallel government, a new government, but he refused. David Stone was, some, or was instructed for over three months now to bring us back our certificate and all the belongings of AJP that is in his custody that was not given to him officially, even as he's claiming, that was not given to him officially. And uh, he refused withholding it in order for them to achieve their end, which is to overthrow um, the leadership of AJPGN and build their new one. Livingstone and Adazayan appointed a young man called Pasca as Pasca Anyamo as the chairman of AJPGN. Abuja. I want Nigerians to know that we are not away of any appointment of a, a chairman of of um fct abuja ajpgn but the livingstone and Adazayon are the ones who appointed him without our consent without the consent of our president the day i asked for this our president said that he's not aware of that livingstone and Adazayon appointed so many people even in the recent write-up of Adazayon, Adazayon said that she and Livingstone appointed one Mr. Francis Udi to be the uh, chairman of Imo State. And the question is, with whose consent? All of us do not know. But thank God that the young man is wise. This day, the young man chose not to stand on what he do not understand. The young man still sticks say that he's standing with the national 
is the good of AJPGM because how can all the whole house be against two or few? That means you people, two or few character is questionable. I am an Igbo. In general, my is data Igbo. Sawais is an Igbo. Why is it that two or few are being ridiculed because you are standing, as you people claim, because you people are standing with your father, your daddy, Apostle Ken, and the, all of us now stood against that. It's not possible. Questionable characters. So, please, Nigerians, stop listening to all those. I don't know what to quantify their art characters and focus on the blessing that coming from the Lord that I don't open in it, which we receive by God's grace any moment from now. And stand against whosoever that have the attitude. If it's not me, let me scatter it. You have no right to come and scatter what you do not bring. Almighty God brought this blessing. We have looked for evidence that God has put a, a, a mandate because he used to tell us, your name is a signatory. If without you, nobody can do anything about this grant. Your name is signature. I don't know now. Uh, your name is no longer the signature. I don't know how they are able to they are able to remove it as you claim. Let us behave ourselves, please. Let us behave ourselves. I think I have to stop it here. Thank you.